Jean Crespin, one of the Metropolitan Opera's long line of distinguished Toscas in the Texaco Metropolitan Opera broadcast of April 17, 1965, Fausto Cleva conducting. And you can hear Régine Crespin this season on April 4th as Madame de Croissy in Poulenc's Dialogue of the Carmelites. As we know, Tosca is a fairly modern opera. It was written in a continuous musical flow rather than a series of closed number. Flow or no flow, however, such showstoppers as Visidate do that. They're invariably followed by applause. So is the third act in Lucia van la Stella, especially when Placido Domingo sings Cavaradossi. Placido Domingo in a Texaco Metropolitan Opera broadcast of February 15, 1969. This season, Placido Domingo conducts Gunos Romeo and Juliet, which you will hear next week on the first live Texaco Metropolitan Opera broadcast of the season, and he sings the role of Kalaf in the new Met production of Turandot, which you will hear on March 28th. Well, we have no more Tosca today, but Puccini does remain with us, doesn't he, George? Oh, yes, Peter. We'll be hearing some wonderful moments from Marama Butterfly and Turando, two Puccini operas that will have a great deal of attention during the current season. Renato, <coughs> Renato Scotto, this season's celebrated butterfly, has sung just about all the Puccini roles during her career and recorded most of them. She can speak about Puccini's music with great authority, so let's hear her in a recent conversation with Peter Allen. Renata Scotto, you have created opera history by being the first major singer to 
both sing and direct the production here at the Metropolitan Opera. Wasn't that, or isn't it still, a tremendous challenge? Yeah, I think it is, because, uh, you know, uh, during the rehearsal, I remember I had to... Uh, 